Hey, this is Dan Seals with GeorgiaCountry.com, and uh, we're here at Wild Bill tonight, and we're hanging out with Tyler Reeve. Tyler, uh, thanks for taking a few minutes with us. Um, this little segment we call Five Few Minutes With, Five Minutes With. We just want to talk about your your career and uh, get a little more information to the Georgia people out there in the fan, so uh, right. get a little know more about Tyler Reeve tonight and uh, right. everything. So. Uh, I understand you're from Mobile, Alabama. Originally. I am, yeah. I'm originally born, okay. born in Mobile, Alabama. And I uh, spent a lot of time up in Maryland for a while, and then back down to Florida and then Georgia. So. Okay. What, what, what got you here, and how long have you been here? Um, I got to Atlanta in 2005. I, I went down to Key West for about nine months and played down there, I guess, uh, about six days a week. And fished a little bit, and then got a little island fever and moved on up to Atlanta to try and get things started. And, uh, been a good home for me. I love it. I, mm -hmm. I like all the, the Georgia fans. Are they're great? I mean, they really appreciate music. And I appreciate that. So. Now, to my knowledge, it's at least your second time here at Wild Bill. Is, is, is that the second time? Or yeah, we, yeah. The first time we did with Jake Owen. He's a good buddy of mine from yeah, college. I remember you opened with Jake. We were here that night mm -hmm. for Jake, and did a great job. And that's, I think that was the first time I met you that night. And, you, and I think the fans really enjoyed your music. And uh, yeah, we and, had but, fun, man. Yeah. But you play a lot around town. Uh, tell us. It, it was last night at uh, Peachtree Tavern. Tell us yeah, how that uh, yeah, a couple nights ago. We do we do um, every Wednesday there at the Peachtree Tavern, and we're really trying to build our fan base uh, here in Atlanta and around Atlanta, and around the Atlanta area. Um, we we've been on the road a lot. We we kind of got out there and started spinning our wheels a little bit and realized that we needed to get back to our fan base back in Atlanta and you know, get get it good with everybody around here. It's been really good to us. I think. Um, we're happy with we're going to try to sit on it for a little bit and we still do our traveling on weekends and stuff but throughout the week we're going to try and you know stay around atlanta and get yeah. everybody out to to really get exposed to the music yeah. a little more well we've seen you that i mean we've not physically so but i've seen your schedule at peace street tavern line so obviously you enjoy playing there yeah we love it. have a good relationship with the owner there uh, he's he's a great guy he, he loves music which is important to me and he brings a lot of the texas country guys which are my my yeah. inspiration and they've not heroes so yeah. I like to go in there. And Bradley's known for bringing in those Texas country bands. Yep, absolutely. Things, so that you can probably fit right in. And what other places are you going to be playing here in Atlanta here soon? Um, starting in June, we're, we're doing a stamp there every uh, June 11th, 18th, and 25th. We'll be at uh, the Dixie Tavern in Marietta. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to try and start building that hopefully every Thursday for quite a while. Um, right. And then, you know, we, we pick up wherever else we can around town that, that's, you know, kind of around the perimeter just trying to hit it there. We're doing Carrollton and Covington and all that stuff as well. So I'm um, just going to be, be hitting the road out there and staying on it. Well, let's talk about your music. Uh, what what past or present country stars has influenced you the most uh, that you really um, kind of followed their lead? Right. It's, uh, for me, I grew up listening to like Guy Clark and Don Williams mm -hmm. and a lot of the Texas guys. Um, and I think then later on, and when I got a little older, I started listening to the Nashville stuff, uh, mostly 90s Nashville country, and all that's kind of come together for me. I, I'm, you know, I've always been a fan of Southern rock and all that stuff, so I think all of it kind of melds into the type of music that we do, and it's, you know, so when we say we play country music, I mean, it really is kind of a mixture of, of Texas country and Southern rock mm -hmm. and, and, you know, some influences of of earlier national Yeah, there's, there's very few traditional country acts these days. They, it's, it's got into more the, the southern rock, right. 70s rock, and that's what the guys are falling behind. So, right. uh, tell us, tell the fans what, what kind of show they would expect out of a Tyler Reeves show. Um, well, yeah, we just looked to have a good time. I think um, I've, I've found a, a good group of guys in, in all the guys that are in my band. We, we really feel like we're family up there, and mm -hmm. we have fun. You know, there's a lot of uh, brotherly love and, and brotherly uh, I guess spats here and there, but that's what makes it go around. And we have a good time on stage. We're always up there. You know, we're there more importantly now to to really uh, hang out and party with with the fans more than to sell them records. You know, that'll come with time, and and when they catch on to it, you know, we hope they'll embrace that. But we really just have a good time. We're we're up there. You know, just like everybody else, we're there to to party and have a good time and play some play some music while we're at it. Now I heard your CD. I think for the first time about a year ago when I got it, got a copy down at the Street Tavern. Whiskey Down, right? Right. Yeah. Name that CD and a very good CD. And um, you still got co copies available to, to buy? Yeah, we've done. Uh, this will be our our third reorder. So we're moving it. Uh, we're we're a little over three thousand sales on that right now. Um, you know, we'd like to get it up there more. It's been kind of a slow process, but you know, we we waited a while before we started touring behind it. So it's kind of um, 
it's coming along. It's starting to get, you know, gain a little momentum mm-hmm. on that album, and then, and then we're going to be looking to do another one here at the end of this year. Mm-hmm. So. Now, do you write? Do you, do you own I it? do. I, um, of all the songs on the, the first album, um, all but one of those are I wrote or co-wrote, and then uh, on this one it'll be it'll be similar. We are throwing in a couple of different ones here on, on this one that I that didn't write, but it just old songs that I found that are kind of gems to. Uh, that, that we think would be great on there, um, some old Guy Clark and stuff like that. So we're gonna try to put those on the next record. Okay. Well, we appreciate you taking time with us, but we want to close out the interview with a little bit of acoustic of your work. And, Absolutely. Uh, if you can uh, share that with us and uh, the yeah, fans, man. and uh, I'm sure the fans out there is going to enjoy it. So uh, all right. So guys, uh, this is Tyler Reed. He's at Wild Bill tonight. Y'all, y'all be sure to check him out next time you can. Real quick, what is your website? It's TylerReed.com. Okay. We well, appreciate it. Y'all check him out and also be sure to check out more of him on GeorgiaCountry.com or Georgia-Country.com. So, uh, Tyler, if you'll close out the interview, but there's some great music. Yeah, man, this is uh, this is one that's going to be on the new record here. It's uh, about driving down the back roads of Georgia just trying to get home. And it's, uh, it's called The Way Home. Turn the radio up way too loud. I try to find a little something right you out of my mind. Bells and there's gates with holes All the way down this country road I'm following Got the sunflower seeds all over my floor Meant to stop a mile back Past two more of these stations Now before we're going to stick Talking about the Lord I'm doing all the things that